वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटि समप्रभ निर्विघ्न गुरु मे देव सर्वकारेशु सार परमा आद्या जगतिया पुस्तक set out to be a leader they set out to make a difference it's never about the role the focus is always about the goal steering us and leading towards the goal of excellence is our beloved madam principal dr r shanti may i now request our madam principal dr r shanti to welcome the dignitaries and address the gathering happy morning to one and all it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to this international webinar organized by the department of corporate secretaryship in collaboration with the tamil chamber of commerce on the topic work metamorphosis the way ahead student journal focus is an outcome of student learning initiative started by the department of corporate secretaryship way back in 2005 the exposure students gain while working on this journal is enormous the journey pre focus to post focus makes a large transformation on the team of students who work upon it the academic exercise enables the students to gain an in-depth knowledge and understanding on various contemporary topics i am happy that the department has invited eminent speakers and guests to share their knowledge and experience on the contemporary issue work metamorphosis work metaphor metamorphosis has gained momentum since the outbreak of the novel coronavirus the raging pandemic has brought the world to a grinding halt and has posed various challenges to the economy on the whole online mode of working has opened various avenues to almost every spectrum of the society remote working has brought in new ideas which have proved to be fruitful too i take this opportunity to welcome each and every resource person who are present here our speakers for the day are from different fields of discipline who have taken time to reach out to our students dr b ravi practicing company secretary a long time associate of the department of corporate secretaryship has been a regular speaker in our college welcome sir mrs shirisha devaloru is joining us from usa to speak about work from home versus work from office shri chola nachia rajeshekar is distinguished personality who has been kind enough to grace today's program and deliver the presidential address renowned speaker dr ranjini manian welcome you ma'am we are extremely proud to have you all as you share your knowledge you will be illuminating the young minds of our students on the synergies of remote learning 
I applaud the department for their persistent efforts in bringing out the latent talents of the students and also giving them the best at any cost, offline or online. Thank you. Wishing you all success today and always. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. To encapsulate the journey of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship, I request Dr. P. Radhika, Associate Professor and Mentor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to take over the session. Coming together is a beginning. Staying together is progress and working together is success. A very happy and pleasant morning to one and all. I take immense pleasure in presenting the annual report of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship for the academic year 2020-2021, documenting its development. Just as from little accounts grow mighty works, the Department of Corporate Secretaryship has traversed a long way since 1985. From 96 students and two faculty members, we have now grown into a mighty work with 900 students and 20 qualified faculty members. The PG course was started in the year 2003. SHIP 2 was started in the year 2000. Our objective of the course is to create a world-class academic environment in the field of commerce and business. The course will prepare the students to respond to the needs of the industry and administration. With a vision of carving students into corporate stars, we help the budding graduates to build a career in the corporate sector by creating a world-class academic environment in commerce and business. Our mission, our mission of importing knowledge with ethical values will help them to reach the pinnacle of success. Maintaining a pass percentage above 95%, the department had attained 328 university rank hall, ranks at the UG level and 213 university ranks at the PG level. Our alumni of 1987-1990 batch initiated Commissary Memorial Endowment Prize for the highest marks in the corporate theory and practical. The Department of Corporate Secretaryship has initiated the Oral Coaching Center for CS Foundation course in the year 2007. Our faculty members were recognized as the faculty of ICSI SIRC. We also hold a corporate membership in ICSI SIRC. We are proud to state that we have entered into an MOU with the Tamil Chamber of Commerce amidst this pandemic. The department maintains library books to cater to the needs of the students and we have more than 800 books now. Our faculty members received various prestigious awards like Abdul Kalam Award, Ignite Award, My Guru Award, Acharya Ratna Award, National Award for Teacher in Higher Education in Commerce and Management, Education Excellence Award, Best Teacher Award, uh, Excellent Best Faculty Award, Best Women Faculty Award, and Best Paper Award. Our staff also, also published books on corporate accounting and consumer rights and education. They are also club coordinators in different clubs like NSS, Rotra Club and Soft Skill Club. They have been recognized as chairperson and members in Board of Studies and Affiliation Committee, University of Madras and also a member in College Governing Council, Punjab Association. It's not how much we give but how much love we put into giving. As an act of benevolence, the Department of Corporate Secretaryship has been continuously organizing outreach programs on various social issues like donation to Cancer Institute, helping hands at Mitra Rehabilitation Center, donation of food, food for pets, an awareness program on water scarcity, donation to charitable trust, a free home for senior citizens, and mass distribution drive. Raising awareness on the most pressing environmental issues of our time is more important than ever. EVS projects were initiated in the year 2005. It concentrates on socio-economic issues and inculcates a sense of belonging 
towards the environment. While preparing project reports on environmental science, the students realize the significance of environmental issues like air pollution, disaster management, waste management, organic farming, and this year, impact of COVID-19. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. In the year 2005, the department pioneered to release the student annual journal focus, a journal by the students, for the students, of the students, which gives them a hands-on experience in compilation, editing, publication, and provides ample scope for broadening the horizons on various topics such as corporate governance, building blocks of corporate world, portfolio management, emotional intelligence in corporate world, digital India, financial planning, a life skill, e-business evolution, mobile apps in service industry, business dynamics 2020, and this year, work metamorphosis the way ahead. Business Dynamics 2020 was conducted as an international webinar wherein experts from across the seas were the speakers through YouTube live stream. Now around 4,000 viewership was attained. To conclude, we are like flowers. Everyone is different and special, but together we are great as a bouquet. Thank you one and all. Over to Dr. Eji Aliyamajat, Associate Professor and Head Department of Corporate Secretaryship to present the department activities for the academic year 2020-2021. Thank you, Dr. P. Radhika. A pleasant, happy morning to one and all present here. It's my proud privilege to make a presentation about our department activities for the academic year 2020-2021, which has marked important achievements. Try making every day a day of achievement are the words of Swami Vivekananda. Our energetic and enthusiastic staff have participated in more than 132 international, national webinars, FDPs, workshops, conferences, orientation course, to name a few. Dr. P. Radhika, Associate Professor and Mentor, is the Chairperson of the Board of Studies in Corporate Secretaryship, University of Madras. She is also the Member Board of Studies for the PG Department of Corporate Secretaryship and Member Inspection Commission appointed by the University of Madras. She has also been appointed for the approval and update of the panel list of question paper setters by the University of Madras for regular and distance education for the year 2020-2021. Dr. Leji Eliama George, Associate Professor and Head, is a member of the Board of Studies and Corporate Secretaryship, University of Madras, member Inspection Commission appointed by the University of Madras and is also a member in the College Governing Council, Punjab Association. Dr. S. Sumati is a member of the Inspection Commission appointed by the University of Madras and a member External Academic Audit, University of Madras. She is also a member of the Continuous Provisional Affiliation Committee. Our staff members are also club coordinators in various different clubs like the Rotrack Club, Soft Skill Club, to name a few. The feather in our cap has always been the outstanding performance of our students, both in curricular and extracurricular activities. Our PG and UG students have secured 100% distinction this year. I am proud to announce that our final year student, R. Sivateja, is a national level swimming champion and has brought laurels to the college by bagging gold and bronze medals at state and national level. Our second year student, Faika Tabasum, has participated in 47 cultural competitions and won prizes in 37 of them. She is also the Assistant Cultural Secretary of the College Student Council. 
the department students were the overall winners of manjari for the interdepartmental cultural fest for freshers the cop stars have participated in 520 academic activities like online webinars online quizzes and they have also taken up two online certificate courses they have also participated in 84 cultural activities 10 sports events for which they have won many prizes the ug and the pg students are placed in various leading organizations like sutherland global services cognizant tech mahindra tcs eny kept germany to name a few education is a passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today the department of corporate secretaryship commenced its activities for the academic year 2020-2021 with the career guidance program on the topic how to choose the right career path this was held on the 28th and 29th of june 2020 and it was organized by mrs v suvita assistant professor Google Sites was held on 29th June 2020 by Mrs K Sharmila assistant professor of the same department a skill based activity creation of animation video was conducted by the department using render forest on the 9th and 10th of July 2020 the department also organized a career guidance program what after post graduation on 6th august 2020 by dr res sumati and mrs k sharmila faculty members of the department the department in collaboration with iqac conducted a motivational webinar on the 25th of august 2020 on the topic how to manage stress in a new normal situation the speaker of the day was dr j shrinivasan associate professor and research supervisor pg and research department of commerce rbg arts college chengalpet an international webinar was conducted on 19 september 2020 on the topic business dynamics 2020 the inaugural address was delivered by cs dr b ravi managing partner b ravi and associates chennai followed by the e release of the student annual journal focus volume 16 the keynote address was given by ca dr gopalakrishna raju master trainer of it gst who is also a faculty in icai icwai and icsi the special address was delivered by dr harini mittal assistant professor university of new york usa who is also our alumni mrs varsha kulkarni operations intelligence engineer micron singapore also addressed the gathering a special address was delivered by mr will schwert vice president marketing and sales i sod london uk a motivational talk vetri kodi kaattu was delivered by mrs banu saundar chief financial officer i sod london uk this program was promulgated in many leading newspapers to commemorate women's day on 8th march 2021 we organized a program on the topic celebrating womanhood a student initiative program was conducted by the department on 22nd march 2021 on the topic an introduction to spss which was held by ms s ramya our alumni reaching out to the needy is the need of the hour arranging financial aid to the needy students during the pandemic was a job well done during the pandemic period in order to help the financially weak students shrimati neena kothari trustee kothari charitable trust has come forward to help the students of select city colleges Punjab Associations Anna Adish College for Women is one among the few beneficiary colleges. 
under the able guidance of Dr. R. Shanti, Principal, Anna Adish College for Women, and Dr. Anita Raman, Vice Principal, Anna Adish College for Women, timely initiative was taken by Dr. P. Radhika, Associate Professor and Mentor, and Dr. Leji Eliama George, Associate Professor and Head of the Department, who helped in obtaining the scholarship instituted by Kothari Charitable Trust. The Department of Corporate Secretaryship has been instrumental in bringing in rupees 15 lakhs from Kothari Charitable Trust as scholarship to needy students of Anna Adish College for Women. A sincere gratitude to Srimati Nina Kothari for her generous contribution, which is of immense help to our students. Special thanks to Mr. R. Prakash, General Manager and Company Secretary, HC Kothari Group, who guided us to procure Kothari Scholarship. Our thanks are also due to Mrs. Chitra Anantaraman, Deputy Director, ICSI SIRO, who ignited the idea of applying for scholarship and which became a reality by God's grace. Thank you, my dear staff and students, for your superlative efforts. No less are the achievements of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship shift to over to Dr. G. Revati, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Shift 2, to present the Department Activities for the Academic Year 2020-2021. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lejima. Happy morning to one and all present here. If you focus on result, you will never change. If you focus on change, you will get result. Jack Dixon. It gives me immense pleasure in presenting the annual report of the Department of Corporate Secretaryship Shift 2. The department feel proud to have hosted a variety of programs during the academic year 2020-2021. During the month of May 2020, the department hosted a webinar on Embrace a New Way of Life through Planning and Technology COVID-2019 by Mr. C.S. Kandavelu, Chartered Accountant. The speaker enlightened gathering on key changes of life after COVID-2019. He explained about the four changes, which includes personal life hygiene, upskill yourself, financial planning, and new business model. The program concluded with suggestions on new way of life and tips for future financial planning. With a view to improve the skills of students and to showcase their talent, the department initiated an activity on logo designing with tagline for budding corporate graduates. Focus 2020, the pride of our department was inaugurated and the e-journal was released by CS Dr. B. Ravi, Managing Partners B. Ravi and Associates Chennai. The department conducted an inspirational and motivational virtual session on the topic of Unlock Your Dreams by Mr. Vishal Ketkar, Leadership Coach on May 24, 2021. The session highlighted seven exceptional secrets of life, namely to discover the passion, building a magical confidence, master the success pattern of legends, strong with stories, goal setting tools, and finally become a global influencer. A dream becomes a goal when action is taken towards its achievements. With these words of Bo Bennett, I feel immensely proud and delighted to share with you all about our staff achievements for the year 2020-2021. Dr. B. Punita, Assistant Professor, received Education Excellence Award and Dr. M. Ashabanu, Assistant Professor, received National Award for Teacher in Higher Education in Commerce and Management 2020-2021 by Srimati Vimala Devi Education Society in the International Webinar on COVID-19, Post-Coronavirus Recent Trends, Research and Technologies and Global Future Opportunities. 
to add feathers to our cap. Faculties of our department hold various positions in various committees and clubs, such as examination committee, staff council, placement cell, IQAC, Rotract club, music club, and have also participated in various international and national webinars, FDPs, workshop, and conferences. The students of our department are well placed in various esteemed organizations like Vibro, TCS, IBM, RBS, HDFC, and so on. Students have participated in many competitions conducted by various institutions and won prizes. Madhra Valley of second year BCom CS Shift 2 participated in pep talk and won second place in GSS Jain College for women on 3rd October 2020. Aishwarya Balaji of first year BCom CS Shift 2 participated in Manjari Recreate the Look and won first place in Anadesh College for women on 28th October 2020. G Shamini of third year BCom CS participated in you just got framed photography and one second place conducted by Vivekananda School of Economics on 9th June 2020. Thank you all. Ma'am, you have to unmute yourself. Thank you, Dr. Radhika, ma'am, Dr. Leji, ma'am, and Dr. Revati. I request Dr. B. Punita, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship 2, to introduce our guest, Dr. B. Ravi, Managing Partner, B. Ravi and Associates, Chennai. Over to you, Punita. Thank you, ma'am. Warm welcome and good morning to everyone <coughs> present here. I find immense pleasure in introducing our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. B. Ravi, Managing Partner of B. Ravi and Associates, Company Secretaries. He has completed his doctorate in Corporate Governance and Boardroom Management in India and postgraduate in Business Administration, both from the University of Madras and is a fellow, fellow member in the Institute of Company Secretaries of India. He is the recipient of the Best Speaker Award on Company Law from the Chartered Accountant Study Circle and also recipient of Vocational Excellence Award 2011-12 from the Rotary Club of Madras. He has been with the Sanmar Group of Companies for around 25 years in different capacities in the Secretarial and Legal Departments, reporting to the Chairman and Managing Director of the Sanmar Group, and continues to be a retainer on the corporate law matters. He entered practice in the year 2000. He is advisor to the leading companies and banks on corporate law matters and is a specialist in corporate restructuring, due diligence, secretarial audit, and all legal and company law issues, right from incorporation to winding up of a company. He has been faculty member in both Institute of Company Secretaries of India and Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, handling corporate laws for more than three decades. He was a visiting faculty member of Academic Stock College, Madras University, and for other leading colleges for men and women. He is one of the specialist editor of Guide to the Companies Act 2013 and has published a book titled Company Law Made Simple. He was the chairman of the expert committee on corporate law of the Hindustan Chamber of Commerce and at present is a life member of the chamber. He also presented papers and articles in various seminars organized by Chamber of Commerce, associations, colleges, professional bodies, CA study circles meetings and conferences. I request our today's chief guest, CS Dr. B. Ravi, to take over the session and enlighten the audience with his valuable insights and inspiring words. Once again, we welcome you, sir. Inia Kale Vanakangal Indria Sirapa Gilchip to Varigan Dirukum Kaluri in Mudurver Thirmadi Dr. R. Shanti Avarele. Turayin Perasri Ergal, Dr. Radhika, Dr. Lejima Jarch, Dr. G. Revati, Matrum, Kudumirukum, Achari of Piramakale, Sirap Vrindilala Vandirukum, Tirasoda Nachia Rajasekar, Madam Sirisha Devuluru, Dr. Ranjini Manigan, 
மற்றும் என் உணர்விலும் எண்ணங்களிலும் என்றும் வீட்டிற்கும் இன்றைய நாளைய இந்தியாவின் நம்பிக்கை நட்சத்திரமான அண்ணா ஆதர்ஷ் கல்லூரியின் மாணவிகளை உங்கள் பாதங்களை ஒரு நொடி பாருங்கள் இந்த அடியனின் அன்பு வணக்கங்கள் அங்கு வந்து சேர்ந்திருக்கும் எந்த நிகழ்ச்சியிலும் முதலில் ஒரு சில வார்த்தைகள் தமிழில் பேசுவது எனது மரபு தாய் மொழியையும் தாயையும் தாய் மண்ணையும் மதிக்க வேண்டும் என்பது தலையாய கடமை என்று நான் உணர்வேன் அதன் பிறகு ஐ வில் என்டர் இன் டு திஸ்னஸ் லாங்குவேஜ் அண்ட் டெலிவர் மை அட்ரஸ் இனாகுரல் அட்ரஸ் so as to reach everyone who is participating in this seminar i am extremely delighted to be part of this function organized by anna adarsh college for women internal quality assurance cell and department of corporate secretaryship shift 1 and 2 in collaboration with the tamil nadu chamber of commerce and the title to the webinar is very aptly coined and my special congratulations to the entire team behind this great effort i am doubly happy because not a single event of release i have missed ever since the focus journal was born either i would have been present in person or through virtual mode there are experts who are lined up who will be discussing on the topic of the international seminar and hence i would like to spend few minutes on the journal focus which is being released today and some thoughts that crossed my mind which i wanted to share with my beloved students especially in the present scenario i am proud and happy like a mother when the child grows to see focus in its 17th year and in a year it will be attaining majority it is a platform created by the department with the able support of the management to kindle the thoughts and imagination of the students and empowering themselves with skills and creativity my special thanks and appreciation to each one of them when we conceived this idea it was with a laudable objective that the ideas of the young minds which are unpolluted are expressed and thoughts kindled which will pave way for learning as everything begins with an idea let me be honest much to my surprise year after year the expressions of the student in the form of articles in the journal surpass all my expectations and i should congratulate each and every students of anadarsh who participated in this endeavor which is a testimony by itself about the greatness of the college the knowledge they impart and the freedom they provide and ensure that no stone is left unturned to empower each and every student special thanks to all the principals i have seen during my association with the institution close to two decades but for their immediate support and approval blessings this would not have been possible i will be failing in my duty if i do not mention the support i readily got from mrs padma shankar who is not with us today in the journey and i am sure her blessings will continue to be with us all and many more success and milestones the journal will touch dear students the pandemic has turned the world upside down and the worst part is the education of the children got affected to a greater extent notwithstanding the electronic mode tried their best to compensate and bridge the gap the personal touch in the process of learning had a big hit but let us not lose our hope and we'll try to see how best and what best we can draw from the present situation equip yourself with new technical know how develop confidence that it is only a passing cloud and best part in life is there accept the challenges and learn from that convert them to the best extent possible as opportunities 
and win over the depressive frame of mind. Keep alert, not only keeping the body alert, but also the mind alert and do not allow it to get rusted. As it is usually said, an idle man mind is devil's workshop. Identify the joy in the family network and do not forget to keep yourself safe and others safe. A great opportunity to know how much each member of the family contributes to your growth, more specifically, your mother and father. Comfort in working because of work from home should not be misunderstood, sacrificing discipline at work. Give importance to your health because during pandemic, we love to eat whatever that comes across to our mind. So ensure that the health is given the utmost importance. Keep in touch with faculties, peers, and every opportunity, turn it into mastering something or other. It's a great opportunity to learn different languages and our own, the, the great Tamil language, don't forget it. If you go into the depth of it, you will be able to understand and surprise what are all the things in store for you. You'll be astonished the way in things have developed in the Tamil literature and the culture. You learn how this Tamil culture has developed. Learn how the various temples have developed. Learn various, the cultural developments, the earlier, our what you called as predecessors have followed. All those things will help you to learn more and more about our mother tongue, our mother country, our mother language, everything. So this is a golden opportunity available to you during the pandemic. When you're at home, besides studies, you can devote on all other extracurricular activities to enrich your knowledge. With this, I have great pleasure in inaugurating this international seminar on the topic work metamorphosis, the way ahead, and e-release of students' annual journal focus, and wish the function all success, and wish the students all the very best in every walk of their life. I congratulate all the faculties and head of the department for their setting as a standing example in molding the students for a better and brighter India. And I'm really, really very happy that we have entered into an MOU. And today we have the participation from the Tamil Chamber of Commerce. A, 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 a fit thing that can happen. And that will take us to greater heights. And I wish you all all the very best in every walk of your life. And thanks for the opportunity. Namaskaram. Thank you, sir. Dr. Yes, Sumati. Associate Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship will brief us about work metamorphosis the way ahead. Over to you, Dr. Sumati Ma. Warm greetings to one and all present here. How does one become a butterfly? You have to learn to fly so much that you are willing to give up being a caterpillar. More than a year has passed since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. Hundreds of millions of people have lived through lockdowns. Many have made the abrupt shift to working from home. Millions have lost jobs. With the third wave of pandemic on the threshold, today we are start starting by looking at the issue of work, how the pandemic has normalized remote work and what that might mean. Will we go back to the office again like before? And if so, how often? What impact will a hybrid way of working have on how we communicate, connect and create? And what will work mean if our offices and educational institutions are virtual and we lose that day-to-day -day social interactions? Now, we all know that work will never be the same, even if we don't know all the ways in which it will be different. What we can say with certainty is that the sudden shift to distributed work has provided a once in a generation opportunity to reimagine everything about how we do our jobs and how we run our companies, educational institutions and healthcare. From the employee perspective, the shift is massive and very consequential. People are making new choices about where they want to live and creating new expectations about flexibility, working conditions and life balance that can't be undone. 
more than half of the global workforce is working remotely. And as the pandemic continues to threaten health, we are looking at a prolonged period of hybrid working from home and office in different proportions. We can accomplish most tasks remotely without significant drop in productivity or quality. Most employees appreciate flexibility, especially those with long commute times. Over the time, however, face-to-face -face interaction is required to facilitate collaboration, build relationships, solve complex challenges, and generate ideas. Continuous remote work extends the workday, diffuses work-life boundaries, and reduces mental well-being. TCS, a corporate giant, has introduced a new policy, 25 by 25, a strategy wherein 25% will permanently be working from home. Now on. Microsoft, another world-famous fa corporate, however, says long-term work from home is killing innovation. Like this, many corporate organizations and educational institutions are rethinking their working arrangements. This recalibration eventually settles on a sustainable new normal, likely a hybrid workforce and a distributed workplace. Every year, as the month of September unfolds, there is an expectation about the release of our annual student journal focus in our college. Our students have explored on the trending topic work metamorphosis and have contributed articles to bring an awakening among the students. Resource persons in this forum will enlighten us with more inputs from their end. Any transition serious enough to alter your definition of self will require not just small adjustments in your way of living and thinking, but a full-on metamorphosis. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sumiti. At this moment of time, we fondly remember and pay homage to the remarkable late Dr. Padma Shankar, founder, former head, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, and former principal, Anna Adish College for Women, for her pivotal role in the inception of our students' annual journal focus. She was an epitome of simplicity and knowledge. She will always be remembered for her tireless contributions, both to the department and the college. She will remain an inspiration to each one of us. <clears throat> Apart from imparting academic knowledge, the Department of Corporate Secretaryship opens doors to varied opportunities to our students to, show, to showcase their talents. One such platform to improve their abilities and capabilities is our students' annual journal focus by the students, for the students, and of the students. I am extremely elated to share the fact that our students' annual journal focus is the brainchild of Dr. B. Ravi. A seed sowed by him way back in the year 2005 which is being nurtured by Department of Corporate Secretaryship till date, has benefited many students every year by giving them a new academic experience. Now, we shall have the e-release of the 17th edition of our Student Annual Journal Focus. Let's have a glimpse of the journal.
we must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives with these words of john f kennedy it's the pride of the department of corporate secretaryship to be associated with the tamil chamber of commerce we are thankful to mr choran achya rajsekar president the tamil chamber of commerce for play, playing a pivotal role and being an initiator of this memorandum of association our students will be greatly benefited by this mou in the years to come sir we are looking forward to many such practices in the future now i call upon dr j joseph in virginia sharmila assistant professor department of corporate secretaryship to introduce our next guest mr choran achya rajshekar president of the chamber of commerce சபை நிறைந்த சான்றோர் அனைவருக்கும் என் முதற்கண் வணக்கம் தோன்றின் புகழோடு தோன்றுக என்ற வள்ளுவரின் வாக்கிற்கேற்ப நான் ஈடுபட்ட ஒவ்வொரு செயலிலும் புகழ்பெற்று விளங்கும் நம் சிறப்பு விருந்தினர் திரு சோழநாச்சியார் ராஜசேகர் அவர்களை அறிமுகப்படுத்துவதில் பெரு மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் அறிவு அற்றம் காக்கும் கருவி என்பதை உணர்ந்து நான் சென்ற இடமெல்லாம் சிறப்பு பெற்று எண்ணியவற்றை எண்ணியபடியே எழுதிய பெருமை கூறியவர் அவர் ஆட்சியார் ராஜசேகர் பிரசிடென்ட் த தமிழ் சேம்பர் ஆஃப் காமர்ஸ் ஸ்ரீ சோழன் ஆட்சியார் ராஜசேகர் பெர்சியூட் இஸ் மாஸ்டர்ஸ் டிகிரி ஃப்ரம் த பிரசிடென்சி காலேஜ் சென்னை by his grit determination and hard work he has established the toranachia foundation and banadi logistics he is known for his illustrious career and exemplary contribution in the field of commerce and industry apart from being the president of the tamil chamber of commerce he is also the president of the association for hospitality member of hindustan chamber of commerce institute of directors Indian Society of Criminology, International Chamber of Commerce, Federation of Indian Export Organization, to name a few. He is also a member of the Board of Studies in Corporate Secretaryship, University of Madras. He holds various key positions at FICCI and has immensely contributed towards its growth and development. Apart from being a voracious reader, He is a renowned journalist and editor in TCC Digest. His foresight leadership and commitment to excellence has won him several awards like Anbu Palam Award, Innappa Devar Award, Life Achievement Award from Loyola College, Bharat Jyoti Award from International Integrity, Peace and Friendship Society, Bangalore, and Media Guild Award for the outstanding service towards the development of trade and industry. it is indeed an honor to have such an industrious personality amit us today in this virtual platform solludal yaarkum eliya ariyavam solliya vannam seyal endra kuralukku eduthukaataga seyal veeraraga tigalum annarai varuga varuga endru varaverpadil magilchi adaigiren varungal nar chindanaiyai paarungal தங்கள் சொற்பொழிவினை கேட்க ஆவலாக காத்திருக்கும் எங்கள் மாணவிகளை தங்கள் சிறப்புமிக்க அனுபவங்களின் மூலமாக பண்படுத்துங்கள் என்று கூறி தங்களுக்கு வழிவிட்டு அமைகின்றேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear you now. Okay. Good morning to all. On behalf of the Tamil Chamber of Commerce, I am proud to align with you and signing a MOU with Anadash College. I convey my appreciation to the principal, Dr. Arshanti, Professor Dr. 
பி ராதிகா டாக்டர் லெஜி ஜார்ஜ் டாக்டர் ஜி ரேவதி டாக்டர் எஸ் சுமதி அண்ட் டாக்டர் எல் உமா மகேஸ்வர் யூ இஸ் கோயிங் டு கிவ் தி வாட் ஆஃப் தேங்க்ஸ் அண்ட் அதர் ஃபேக்கல்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் அண்ட் மை டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அவர் கம்பெனி செக்ரட்டரி டாக்டர் பி ரவி ரெண்டட் ஏ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஸ்பீச் அது ஒரு நல்ல தமிழில் மிக அருமையாக அறிமுகப்படுத்தினார் அவருடைய அறிவுரைகளும் அனுபவங்களை வெளிப்படுத்தியது அவருக்கு என்னுடைய பாராட்டுக்கள் ஸ்ரீஷா தவளூர் மிஸ் ஆஸ்ட்ரா ஜெனிகா இந்தியா இந்தியானா யூஎஸ்ஏ இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு கிவ் த லெக்சர் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்ரஸ் அண்ட் டாக்டர் ரஞ்சினி மணியன் ஃபவுண்டர் சேர்பர்சன் குளோபல் அட்ஜஸ்ட்மெண்ட் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் சென்னை ஐ நோ ஹர் ஃபார் செவரல் இயர்ஸ் ரீசெண்ட்லி வி ஹேட் ஒன் மீட்டிங் வித் மெட்ராஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் அசோசியேஷன் இன் விச் ஷி டெலிவர்ட் அட்ரஸ் அண்ட் ஹர் டாக்டர் ஆல்சோ பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டட் her family i know for two three decades they are involved in infrastructure development entertainment and now the global adjustment foundation done wonderful job and it is continuing to do that forever i wish more success in your endeavors now coming to this uh, another college for women i always have high regards for this punjabi people they are hard worker they rendered their service in army whether it is trade industry agriculture in every sector they are giving a wonderful service and in chennai the seed sown during the 50s as school adesh vidyalaya started by raising a fund based on the jalin wala bag issue from that day onwards they are contributing to the education social sector trade and industry in tamil nadu to reciprocate the support they received after the independence and the partition they decided to start this anna adarsh college in the name of great revolutionist leader Aringar Anna, who introduced the duty, discipline and dignity, which is valid forever. Now it has grown as nearly 5,000 students and 215 faculties. I wish many more achievements in the future also. The Punjabi Association, which is forefront in many sectors, including the education, started this anna adarsh college to make the students particularly the women as ethical moral socially responsible and professionally successful individuals to become good citizens of the country which is a great thing to do on this day i also register my tribute to lieutenant colonel g s gill and mr p n davan for the contribution made and my best wishes to the president mr vikram agarwal general secretary mr ramesh lamba and their associates for continuing the service to the society reciprocating for something is a great this particular punjabi community landed in tamil nadu continuously doing that in so many sectors i remember that one incident happened this parsi community when they entered from persia to virat coast during those days a king ruled in that part of that region they wanted to give accommodation and other facilities to settle there they sent a bowl with milk fully filled the king after receiving this 
consulted his subordinates and he in order to convey the message he is not able to accommodate them they send back this bowl with full milk the parsi community leader at that time add some sugar in that milk and send back to the king stating that we will mingle with you without disturbing you after understanding this he permitted them to stay the rest is history now the tata group renting so many services in the trade and industry and ethically morally they are superior corporate sectors when compared to any any other corporate sector like that the punjabi community in our own indian subcontinent rendering heavy service to the human kind particularly in this region i want to appreciate this on behalf of the tamil chamber of commerce as far as my chamber concerned this is instituted in the year 1944 before independence by the first finance minister of india in 1947 in the jawalal nehru government the rk shanmugam who made first three budgets of india he participated in the us britain wood conference on behalf of india and in the year 1944 the same year the chamber instituted after the deliberation in the conference britain wood conference at chicago only the imf international monetary fund and the world bank formed so many stalwarts are contributed from our chamber to the development economically commercially and socially for our country one of our past president nagapachetti who is the owner of chrome factory which is now the balaji hospital he made a contribution to the formation of this clra central leather research institute at taramani is full life size statue is installed there in honor of that uh, contribution nalli kopusami as our president and so many north indians and other people are also involved in our chamber i want to give the recognition and respect to those stalwarts now i am leading this chamber with my little knowledge we are doing enormous service as leading international delegation receiving international business delegation b2b meeting and uh, issuing certificate of origin for the cargo exported from india through sea air and land lock borders and uh, making awareness programs in exim policy finance ministry budgets giving suggestions for a tax and other issues representing the genuine issues of the trade and industry to the central government and state government recently we participated in the tamil nadu export promotion conclave held by the chief minister of tamil nadu and the industry ministry and central government jointly few days ago this is our background now coming to this uh, seminar work metamorphosis a way ahead that is work from home metamorphosis is a greek word that means transformation or complete change of form according to the statistics by global workplace analytics the us had 4.3 million remote workers which made up 3.2% of the entire workforce the workforce management have different strategies for organization after the covid issue number one the contingent hiring according to the intuit 2020 report roughly 25 to 30% of the us workforce is currently contingent with more than 80% of large firms intending on substantially increasing their use in the coming years contingent workers bring on board the specialized skill set coupled with it being readily available in the market which leads to reducing hiring cost and improving the company revenue number 2 the workplace automation 
artificial intelligence firms have been solely dependent on solutions and technology to sell them through the potential of ai for enhancing the higher quality is huge number 3 the skill to up skill technology has altered the way we do business adding to the need of constantly updating employees technical and soft skills according to the research by pwc 79% of the respondents feel the shortage of skilled talent was one of the top three worries and 46% of said upskilling was their preferred solution now the culture is the past work from office the present work from home and the future work from anywhere around the world this is the metamorphosis the way i got for work from home and other these things culture connected with the impact of covid unforeseen events or shocks disrupt our normal routine or habits jolt us out of our comfort zone and lead us to ask big questions about what matters and what is worth doing covid 19 and lockdown has put many roles at risk but the rewards are great for those who spend time in investing in themselves now is a great time to be agile and reinvent yourself the pandemic has increased uncertainty and caught us unprepared psychologically financially and infrastructurally reinvention involves doing something to help you in your current role cultivating knowledge skills resources and relationship until you have got significantly better than where you were before we could try new hobbies like reading cooking or art begin redecorating the room you have never had time for or even learn a new language this time can provide us with a great source of creativity and productivity for example snacks can teach us a thing or two about reinvention through molting they seem to be telling us you have to discard the old for the new palayana kaidalum puduma pudu pugudalum endre tamilil oru sottodar undu all through your career molting happens when a snake grows big the old skin peels off as it is not big enough for the snakes anymore just like a snake you have to keep putting on a new professional skin in the end when it comes to reinventing yourself in this time of crisis remember this important point the time to get going is now moving from work from home to work from anywhere setting up the future of work for success a study by toluna a tech company operating in the market research space looked at the attitudes of employees towards virtual work the results point to workforce eager to get back into office most americans 82% are missing business travel and think in person meetings are better than virtual the future is hybrid however an overwhelming majority from the study agree that virtual work is here to stay in some capacity most think 90% in the future is hybrid model where some days employees work from the office and some days from home what will companies and their leaders need to do in order to successfully move back to in person work get the employees to feel safe in the workplace plan train and budget for the new technical demands of the job yokesh gupta the ceo of progress a global software company recommends leaders to invest in state of art technology infrastructure and digital communication tools the tenable maximum interaction for your teams continually reinvest as those tools continue to evolve open your mind to new recruiting and hiring opportunities more business are recognizing that the work from anywhere world opens great possibilities when it comes to talent while hiring hubs are there to stay centered around geographic talents 
pools and ritual model open significant opportunity to recruit the best and most diverse applicant mix for any given role conventional wisdom is that productivity has gone up during this pandemic and that is likely true for personal productivity work you can do by yourself change is inevitable in any sectors maatram ondru dhan maaradathu maaradhu irupadharku maramo sediyo alla endru kanadasan avargal kooruvargal for example in those days the evening colleges are there for the people who want to upgrade their knowledge and qualification in education It starts after 6 pm after the office hours but now the change is in the education sector colleges the first shift and second shift as in our colleges in other colleges are there but it is no more evening colleges are after the 6 pm it is only a second shift using the space and time available to recruit more students to educate more students that is the concept change made so far in our recent present time all of the students we know that like that we should be always prefer to be a change and adapt to change any technology or any unexpected issues like pandemic and other issues in our lifestyle and day to day life and in our practical life also i wish in coming days the endemic and issues should be over and we will be free to conduct direct meeting in our colleges and one in the coming days we will do more programs on the basis of our mou with the another college and also i like to participate and meet the students the whole college in direct function in the coming years i wish all success for all the students involved in this faculty members principal and other department professors to organize this meeting successfully to enlighten the students knowledge students should always prefer to know what is happening around the world in our subjects education and practical life to face the day to day challenge after the education and the employment or starting a business as a chamber of commerce president i wish more and more women students should come forward have a training in the in the industrial firms or companies multinational companies for some years after getting your experience please come to start entrepreneurship business so that the economy of the country will improve and your life also have a satisfaction of giving back to the society and once again i thank you for the opportunity given i wish you more all success to the students and faculty thank you very much thank you sir for your enlightening speech especially it was very nice to hear about the achievements of the punjab association our management union we are happy to be associated with the tamil chamber of commerce we will definitely follow your guidance sir and we shall always keep upgrading our skills thank you sir once again i request dr maya elizabeth agustin assistant professor department of corporate secretaryship to introduce our next speaker for the day mrs sirisha dabaluru senior validation engineer astra genica india na usa over to you madam please good morning to all present here i feel extremely privileged and honored to be given this opportunity to welcome mrs sirisha davaluru senior continued process verification analyst for manufacturing technology at astra zenica pharmaceuticals mount vernon indiana mrs sirisha completed her bachelor of technology in electronics and communications from jntu hyderabad india and masters of technology with specialization in manufacturing from purdue university usa in the year 2008 her technical expertise mainly lies in the lean six sigma certification training received at purdue university hammond indiana which has enabled her to simulate a manufacturing flow and layout for haradi corporation dyer indiana 
using pro model software and analyze the internal process of the workflow at Purdue University during the period 2008 to 2010. In May 2011, she worked as a tech writer in the technical training department at Bristol Myers with Mount Vernon and in August 2011 worked as an associate manager for processing in the same organization. Mrs. Sirisha has also attended numerous workshops, conferences, and published a research paper on simulation of a manufacturing layout to optimize productivity. Apart from her outstanding technical achievements, she is also an excellent academician. She has been an instructor for computational analysis in mechanical engineering and website developer of the peer educator team at Purdue University. She has provided supportive academic instructions and tutoring at Purdue University and is also a member of the environmental club. Indeed, we are fortunate to have such a young and dynamic personality amidst us to give the special address on the occasion of release of 17th volume of our annual student journal focus. Welcome, ma'am. I request Ms. Sirisha to take over the session. Thank you, Dr. Maya, um, for introducing me. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would really like to uh, congratulate Anna Adesh College Corporate Secretaryship uh, for their e-release for the focus. And uh, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be part of this wonderful international webinar focus. And I'm really honored uh, to share my thoughts on work metamorphosis the way ahead. Um, I'd like to share a few slides that I've prepared for the discussion. Um, I'll share my screen and then uh, Please let me know when you're able to see. Are you able to see my screen? No, not it. Go to the three dots um, and uh, I mean, at the presentation, the arrow, present now that arrow, mm -hmm. your entire screen. Have you opened your um, presentation? Your yes. entire screen? Yes. And you click on the screen and then share. Click on share. You click on okay. the screen. How about now? Yes. It's working. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Thank you. Um, so what is met uh, work metamorphosis? So this is a sudden change or transformation to how we work today. But before we consider this sudden transformation, we need to realize that we have been evolving over time. The workplace is a very different place in what it used to be 30 years ago or more. From the introduction to new technology and tools to the rising trend of remote working, the modern office has adapted in number of ways to cater for changes in employees' needs and working styles. If we see the years 1900s, this, these are very critical years as the Industrial Revolution happened and people started working in factories. And one more very important thing is women also joined the workforce along with men. This basically accelerated the Industrial Revolution to a higher end and uh, with great great adventures going forward. In those times, offices, desks uh, were all aligned in rows and uh, later uh, cubicles were introduced 
and uh, close suites. We uh, over here, like uh, back in the days when we had like a close suite, it was called the American dream. Um, so this was when the working hours of nine to five, the concept was, was born. Employees were more encouraged to work independently and stay on focus at all times, which was easier since there were no cell phones and because of set schedules, like the nine to five role that I was talking about, work never used to come home. Workplaces were a lot less tech oriented, so less technology and uh, the, it was more of manual work more than uh, anything that they were working on computers. Most business communications took place over landlines and in person. Looking at the 2000 era, there is a more focus on ergonomics and safety of employees within the workplace with things such as standing desks, comfortable seating, and there was also a lot of focus on social collaboration. And building your network circle was the main key. Also, major part is working in teams to come up with solutions and great ideas. So before it was all working independently and just focusing on the work. And then now uh, as we get into the 2000 year, it was, it was a collaborative effort from everyone. With the help of new innovations and technology, our work has and is becoming more and more digitalized, enabling us to communicate with others at different sites anywhere in the world, which has now got us to the current state of working remotely from any place and any part of the world with just one click. Um, I think today the environment in which we uh, work is, in, is more of an employee-based rather than an employer-based anymore. Um, what I mean by this is that as employees, you get to decide which organization you want to be part of. Looking at opportunities for growth, the culture of the company, if it has good work-life balance, and also organizations along with all of these set needs for employees that are coming on board, they also have to adapt to these new situations. The one thing that's very interesting that all the organizations are now finding it very good is edutainment. It's a term where Oh, they understand that many people, there, there are different ways of how they learn how training is. So some people learn by seeing someone else do the work and then they learn. Some people learn by just reviewing the, uh, the documents and the procedures and that's how they see. And some just review videos of how the equipment or anything that they're working on goes and then they see that and then they are good to go. But to incorporate all of these they started this edutainment concept of analyzing and helping everyone being more close and real time to the equipments and the process and the organization. Understanding the culture was, was the main key to actually keep the talent within the organizations. Overall, I mean, uh, tools have been smarter while the email culture, which was once dominating, now most prefer most organizations uh, prefer instant communications methods such as like uh, uh, Teams meetings, Google chats, um, Skype. So everything needs to be done uh, either by cell phones or either while typing on instant messengers. It is not only the workplace and the way people used to work that changed, but also the mindset. There are other factors which we need to consider. We are at a very unique place where we have, for the first time, four generations that are working side by side in many offices today. These generations are starting with the baby boomers. These are people aged before 1965. Then the Gen Xers, these are people aged between the ages 1965 to 1980. Then, the, then comes the millennials, which are 1981 to 1996. And my favorite, the rising Gen, Z's, Gen Zers, the 1977 to the 2012 age groups. Each of them really need to be catered to in different ways. 
So working with all these four generations together has made all organizations understand as the new generations come bring change within along with them to the new to the previous generations and they all have to adapt to new ideas new solutions and this is how our technology and tools basically have emerged the COVID pandemic has made it a lot easier for the Gen Zers to adopt to the way they have been growing up with digital technology. At this point, I want to share a, a story of an intern that reported to my husband in, in the month of August 2019. So uh, she was looking for a job uh, in a supply chain, like a role in supply chain. And for this Gen Zer, it is a very natural question to ask if uh, she she could work remotely. And at that time, it was a very alien concept to us and for the site. Like uh, uh, as of now, like all roles were in person and site based. So at that time, obviously, like when when they asked or when she asked whether I can work from home, it was really like, oh, this is like not not acceptable. The job was not obviously given to her. However, six months later, the whole world started working remotely and adapted to new ways. What was an alien concept six months back? Is it really in reality? It's now for the past one and a half year. It's it's what we are doing, working remotely. It definitely makes me wonder, like, was her question really that off? Or was it just that we were not prepared for that Gen Zers uh, suggestion and idea that was about to come in within our changes that we see going forward? So all these things uh, set the stage for businesses to continue deliver services to customers despite the pandemic. So when the pandemic hit, we built good tech, digital technology, which was already in place, that the pathway was seamless with transitioning from in-person to virtual. Some industries did take a hit more than others, but for most part, the businesses have learned to navigate through these challenges. I'd like to share a few of my experiences when the pandemic hit. Last year, March 2020, we were asked to stay home and work remotely. I was like super excited when, when I heard this since in the last eight years of my career, I didn't get to do this at any time. I was very happy that I didn't have to like rush in the mornings and then fight the traffic driving 45 minutes to work and uh, the most, the best part of all of this was I was very excited to spend more time with family. However, within a week or so, when I was, when I started working remotely, I realized that I was working more hours than I used to. Definitely felt more productive. However, uh, it was just the concept of why am I working uh, so many hours? And it was, it felt like work was following me everywhere. So uh, then, as you see here in the pictures, uh, this is my son, Arya. He's six years old, um, and he's in first grade now. But last year, uh, with uh, the shutdowns and uh, work from home, his uh, kindergarten classes were also online. And trying to help him get used to the online classes, logging in and submitting assignments was, was pretty challenging. and. Uh, Along with what I needed to work with and complete my tasks at my regular work, it was it was pretty hard. Um, I also had to make sure, uh, like you know, breakfast and lunch was also prepared and ready, so I wouldn't have to like get up during my meetings and uh, take care of all of that. Now, before it got me thinking that before this whole pandemic situation. If there was a point where I was like super busy and I had meetings early in the morning or in the uh, and I and I couldn't get to prepare anything for him to take for food, I would just rely on the school's cafeteria. And in that event, I didn't have to like prepare anything, uh, which was quite a relief. 
But this had become a regular routine for me now that I had to like literally like make sure everything was in, sp in place before I started my day uh, in the morning. Though very challenging, I still preferred the new concept of working from home, mainly due to the flexibility and control I have over my work. So some days I would just uh, get up early way before everyone wakes up at five or four in the morning and then finish up my uh, meetings and emails that I had to like do for the day. And then take a, take a quick one hour, two hour with uh, my son, make sure that he's all settled down with his classes and then continue again with my meetings and uh, reschedule whenever is needed and whenever I, I was able to. And uh, once everyone sleeps again at night, I, I was able to like uh, re-log in and make sure I completed the rest of my works that I was doing for that day. Again, I mean, uh, th this is only my experience and there is always going to be like pros and cons on the methods of working, whether it may be working remotely or on site in person. So um, my understanding is you all are entering the workforce soon. And I need you to know that there are business values and expectations for every organization. So you, I mean, so, so you have seen how the work has transformed in the last hundred years. And you have been seeing how the new generations have been contributing to the accelerated change. I want you to, I want to leave you with a thought as you hit the job market, you will bring a lot of change in uh, whatever industry you decide to enter. But I know you, I want you to know that there is another generation right behind you that will be hitting the workforce sometime later. And you need to be prepared for the change they will bring because change is the only constant. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Davuluru, for highlighting the pros and cons of remote working and how to balance work and life. It will definitely help our students to develop new skill sets and grow in their career. To proceed further with this session, I request Dr. G. M. Devan Ayati, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to introduce our keynote speaker for the day, Dr. Ranjani Maniya. Founder and Chairman, Global Adjustments Foundation, Chennai. Happy morning to Happy one and all morning. present here. Champions are made from something they have deep inside of them. A desire, a dream, a vision by Mahatma Gandhi. Such a champion is none other than our chief guest of the day, Dr. Ranjani Manian, Founder and Chairperson, Global Adjustment Foundation. She has spent over two decades as entrepreneur, cultural ambassador, author, and philanthropist connecting global citizens to India. Founder of India's premier relocations and cross-cultural services company, Global Adjustments. She has served on the Harvard Women's Leadership Board and authored books such as Doing Business in India for Dummies, Upwardly Mobile, Make It India, and soon to be released Champion Women Tools. She currently serves as a founder, chair of Global Adjustment Foundation, whose mission is to empower women and girls by providing them champion women life leadership, coaching in colleges and workplaces. Global Adjustment Foundation has touched over 1,75,000 lives in the past five years in various groups such as corporate, government workforce, entrepreneurs, police, soldiers, healthcare workers, faculty and students. The foundation's goal is to reduce gender gap in the workforce, enabling women to contribute to the GDP of the nation. She serves as advisory board member of Apollo Hospital. She studied psychology and French literature from Bombay University and Sorbonne University in Paris. She holds an honorary doctorate, recognizing her leadership in promoting cultural understanding across the globe. She is a three-decade mindfulness practitioner and coaching. It is indeed my honor and privilege to introduce and welcome you, ma'am, in this mega event of our department today. Over to you, ma'am. 
thank you very much for that very kind and um, exhaustive introduction. Dear friends of Anna Adarsh, Principal Dr. Shanti Ma'am, all of the leaders in the faculty who have been very kind to invite me, Dr. Radhika, Dr. Leji, you yourself have been coordinating with me so much. And um, of course, uh, Sumati and uh, Dr. Revati, I'm very, very happy that you have uh, asked me to be a small part of this very important day at Anna Adarsh College. Dr. R Ravi, it was lovely to hear your remarks. And of course, the Tamil Nadu Chamber of Commerce, Chorana Cherad Shekhar, sir, it was a pleasure to listen to you. I'm very, very happy that you were able to release a journal like this online in a day when we're hardly able to do much uh, of the milestone celebrations. And that's why having Sirisha Davaluru from uh, Indiana is nice because, you know, she's the kind of person they can all aspire to be. My dear friends, students of Anna Adarsh, I hope you're still there and that you're not too tired after this long couple of hours of chatting and listening to all of us. You know, Sirisha is a good example for you to follow. But she came up to uh, Gen Z and she kind of fits in the millennial Gen Z range, I think, unless she's put a lot of makeup. She does look that age group. I have to put, put a lot of color and all that to look right. But that's the generation that you are going to be. And this country is completely safe in your hands. That's why when I came to Anna Adars before the pandemic, you invited me to come and speak. The corporate secretaryship department was not that, at that time in touch with us, but I came and spoke at another department. It was absolutely wonderful to interact with students, be in your hall, meet everybody, see your lovely college. And all I want to share with you is that magic is going to come back. It's not gone. It's just a little bit of the pause button has been hit. That's all. I'm not going to use the P word or the C word because we're fed up of listening to Corona and pandemic. Who cares? We're not going to talk about that. It's going away. But I'm going to only talk about one thing. And that is the word ahead. I saw that you had beautifully picked the topic of way ahead metamorphosis of the workplace. And I saw all my speakers before me tell you so many useful tips on how the workplace is evolving. But let me only focus on the way ahead. The word ahead itself is such a wonderful word, isn't it? That's where you have to look. <clears throat> and so I just made up a little anagram on the word ahead. And at each of them, I'll tell you one quick little secret from my life. And if you girls are listening, I want you to follow all the good things I tell you from my secret and my stories and not do the naughty things that I did. So to start with the word ahead, the first thing about A in ahead is always keep your eyes on the goal. And I know people before me told us about goal setting, but I have realized that Albert Einstein was my real guru because he said once, if you want a happy life, Tie your life to goals, not to people and things. And he was absolutely right. Always keep your eyes on goals. And it must have a personal goal and a professional goal. So some of you are 18, 19, 20, up to 22-year-olds, right? And the students that are here today, I was your age once, right? At that time, if you'd ask me, what's your goal in life? I don't know. I don't think I could have told you exactly. But I did have an overall picture. And that's all I'm asking you to come up with. Please have a goal personally. And my personal goal was, I don't want to be mediocre. That's all. That was my goal. Whatever I do, I'll do it with excellence. People must notice what I'm doing. I should be part of the solutions. And I should be part of the contribution, wherever I am. And like our other speakers told us, learning languages was important. I started studying French on top of my college. And then I started studying Japanese, two completely different languages, two completely different cultures. And it was helpful. You know, girls, we Indians, our brain is naturally wired to learn languages because we ourselves speak four or five languages so easily, isn't it? So by learning those languages, I had a little peep into those cultures. So when you have a goal, I don't want to be mediocre. 
personal goal, professional goal, whatever you call it, then you become really excellent at whatever you pick up and you do. Now I had one more personal goal. I wanted to marry someone tall, dark and handsome and rich. Any of you have that goal? Any of the college students? I know you can't interact with me, but just think about it for a minute. It's okay. Our hormones are raging at that age and we want to marry someone who's a real life partner. I happened to find someone tall, dark, handsome and rich. But I suddenly realized, oh my God, but I don't want to just be Mrs. Manian for the rest of my life. By the way, I'm still married to the same man 40 years later. And that takes effort from both sides. But I had chosen to marry someone and I spoke to that person and I said, my goal is I want to do something with excellence. I'm studying foreign languages. I want to go to Sorbonne University and study French and come back speaking French like a French person. And you know, the person who helps you get to your dreams, who dreams with you, who supports you, that is the person we should have as our life partner. And I was lucky that that's what I found. Someone that says, let's just go for the weekend to the beach resort. We'll think about life later. I'm not sure that's the right person who will support our dreams. But the person who says, go do your college, come back five years later, we can get married. That was the person that was right. And so we got married five years later and I finished my graduation in Bombay University and Sorbonne and came to Madras. And then what happened? The family will say, the girl doesn't have to work. The men have to be given more importance. In my time, that's how it was. So the word ahead, I was telling you, the H for ahead stands for help seeking. Always ask for help, ask for support, either from your family member or from your professional situation, if you start work, or from peer groups that are wise, when you seek support, it just help is just given to you. And the problem with us women, especially, is that we don't want to ask for any favors because we think, what will she think about me? She'll think I was her friend only because I wanted to get a favor from her. What's wrong with that? So I went ahead and sought support at home from my mother-in-law and said, mom, I want to start an entrepreneurship. And what was that entrepreneurship? Helping cultures understand India. So I started Global Adjustments, a business which helped foreign business people to come and settle down in India and become successful. One of the people that I had to help was Ford Motor Company, who came to Maramalai Nagar. And that's why I was a little sad that Ford is closing its factory this week. But it doesn't matter because when I started working with Ford, they didn't understand Indians. They had women in the Ford factories. And the women would not wear the security jackets. So Ford has a very strict safety and security protocol. And they didn't want women to wear saris while building Ford cars. Now the women coming from Kanchipuram and other areas are not comfortable wearing at that time just pant and shirt for safety. So, you know, finally, I had to advise the expats in Ford. They created a jacket to be worn on top of a sari, so it was all tucked in and the safety measure was preserved. So I had learned that if you seek help and you ask for help, the support is given. I sought support from my clients also on behalf of the women working in their factories. So I've done A and H. What is the E for ahead? E is experiences. Please build as many experiences as you can right now when you're in college. Please burn the candle on both ends. Find the time to do more and more. Get an internship. People are ready to give internships. How many of you are using LinkedIn? You should get on LinkedIn. You should talk to people who are in the business world or, or in uh, educational world and ask for some volunteer experiences. Many people are looking for young people to come and build their business in small, small ways. So I did my experience gathering by working in the Taj Mahal Hotel in Bombay when I used to study in Elphinstone College. I used to cross two roads. Just near there was the Taj. And I used to go and help in. There was a, they were writing, a, running a magazine section. They just needed a 
young student to run here and there and collect artwork for the advertisement in their magazine. I said, okay, I'll do it. So I used to run around to this office and that office and bring artwork. But you know the good news? I got to enter places like the Tata Group and bring their ad. I, and I would see people like Vijay Amritraj within the Taj offices. And I would look up at sports people, models, so many famous people, celebrities that had made a name for themselves. So when you go and get some more experiences, you learn by just absorbing what is happening around you. And that's why E stands for experiences are very important that you gain them at every step so that they build your career. So AHEAD, A-H-E-A-D, right? The second A stands for all networks. Please build all networks. I saw people, Sirisha is telling you that networking is important. What is networking? Nowadays, it is social networking, right? You can network with somebody and find out more things and learn from each other. But even if you have a peer group, a club that is doing a reading club, a club that is doing physical activity, if you build networks, all those networks become your net worth. That's what happens. My money comes from my networks. So when I started this business, all the people who had houses to rent in Chennai or Delhi or Bombay became my landlords that would give houses for the foreigners to live in. So if you build a proper network and you must do it now, it's okay to put a like on Facebook with a friend, uh, an Instagram uh, comment and a heart and an emoji. Great. That's part of your life. But please consciously build a network where you want to be counted. What do you want to do? Remember that first A, always keep your eye on goals. What do you want to do? You want to be a, you want to be a corporate secretary. Obviously, you're studying that subject. But which is the company that you're really keen on hoping to be a part of? Start networking in that company online. Nowadays, you can do that so easily, girls. I didn't have that in my time. If you do that, then the D of ahead will come. What is the D? Discuss with people beyond your comfort zone. What does that mean? I had to, in my career, work with people who were much bigger than me. One day, Jeff Bezos, the founder and owner of Amazon, came into our office. And it was my job to teach him about Indian business culture. But I had to be confident and speak about Indian culture so that I could network with him. And beyond my comfort zone, I had to go and ask him, let me explain retail behavior for you. Come with me to a sari shop and I'll show you. That confidence is built when you discuss with people beyond your comfort zone. And you know, your comfort zone, your, your network, all that becomes the place that becomes your support so that if you have a fall, you can bounce back. You can seek support from somebody to bounce back. If you have a failure in something, you need to change tracks. That same network becomes your comfort zone. So I'm here to tell you, go ahead. Go ahead, get started. And as you go ahead and you get forward, the path will open a little more and you'll get better and better. Keep your, always keep your eye on goals. Keep help seeking for H, experiences for E, all networks, build them and discuss with people. I wish you all the best. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure our students will definitely move ahead with personal and professional goals. Your speech was enlightening, and we shall always remember them in all our future endeavors. Networks become net worth. Definitely. Very true, ma'am. And the word explanation of the word uh, uh, ahead was awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, very much. Henry Ford rightly said, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. Such is the team which is responsible for the successful publication of the 17th edition of our students' annual journal focus. At this juncture, we would like to congratulate and felicitate each and every one who were a part of this academic end of year. I call upon Dr. R. Mary Geetham, Assistant Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to acknowledge the vibrant focus team. Over to you, Dr. Mary. 
Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm audible. Yes, Dr. Mary, carry on. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. First, I would like to thank all the chief guests of the day, Mr. Dr. B. Ravi, uh, Dr. Chola, Natsha, Nat Rajeshekar, Mrs. Srisha, and Mrs. Ranjini for really motivating the students to reach the peak in their lives. Thank you so much, uh, uh, all of you. Now, we, now is the time to appreciate the focus team. Uh, where focus goes, energy flows. The same energy flows from our annual journal focus, which is by the students, of the students, and for the students. A team is a small number of people with complementary skills, committed to a common purpose, performance, goals, and approach for which they hold themselves mutually accountable. This type of team is our uh, students focus team, which is complemented by various skills executed by the students of corporate secretaryship. Let us now glance through some of the skills executed by these focus girls. Life is all about editing, so just edit yourself and bring your eminent edition, says Amit Rabat. We would like to thank such girls who have brought this focus into existence are uh, Mrs. Tushina D. Mano, Mrs. Lavinia from Shift 1, and Mrs. Aprajita from Shift 2. The secret to editing and compiling your work is simple. You need to become the reader rather than the rather than office writer, says Zabdi Simon. We take this opportunity of thanking those students who have helped in compiling the annual journal focus. They are Mrs. Akshaya D, Mrs. Deepika H, Mrs. Faika from Shift 1, and Madhuravali from Shift 2. Uh, an inheritance is what you leave with people. A legacy is what you leave in them, uh, says Brad D. Logsburg. Mrs. Jani C is a person who has left with us the legacy by designing the cover page for the annual journal focus. And we also appreciate uh, Mrs. Raja Darshini, 2A, belongs to se uh, second year A section. She has given us the special effects for the PPT of today's program. And she has also entered her health for focus upshot, which will be soon telecasted now. Organizing is what you do before you do before you do something so that when you do it it is not all mixed up says aa melanie the girls who helped in organizing the annual journal focus and brought it to this form are mrs alagama l mrs j kamalam c shift one and Ms. Sachia j shift two knowledge can be enormously costly and is often scattered in widely uneven fragment too small to be individually usable in decision making the communication and coordination of scattered fragments of knowledge is one of the basic problems, perhaps the basic problems of any society. Such knowledge which is scattered is collected and combined in the form of annual journal focus by the students' coordinators. They are Mrs. Samyutta LKM, Mrs. Kavya Perinagi KM, Mrs. Gayatri Kanmani S, Mrs. Aishwarya B from Shift 1, and Mrs. Deepika and Mrs. Abhishek Sharal from Shift 2. Uh, I would like to uh, say something about these girls. These girls have helped us throughout the bringing up this journal and they worked late nights also. They start from 4 p.m. and they uh, worked till 10 on that also. I thank all these girls for rendering their support and bringing out this annual general focus. We wish you all the best to the girls in the future endeavors. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Dr. Mary. Now, we will have the student reflections on the journey of Focus 2021. Through the Focus magazine, I have learned to come out of my shell and to interact very confidently with my teammates. I have learned that it's always a good thing to try something new. I have learned to expand my horizons and widen my thoughts. I have started to think in multiple perspectives. I have learned that forming a relationship with my teammates is a highly beneficial factor that increases productivity. 
I have now realized the importance of process simplicity. I have learned to communicate in professional and friendly manner with my peers to get the job done. I have learned that perfection comes with multiple revision and embracing changes. I have learned about the importance of handling deadlines in a calm manner. I have learned that many things can be achieved even if you are not together physically. It has given me the opportunity to meet a variety of people with different points of view. I've learned the importance of the written word and what an impact it can have on my thinking. I've experienced a great sense of team spirit. I have learned that quality comes with hard work. I have learned the importance of handling the deadlines in a calm manner. Having reached the end of this international webinar, I request Dr. L. Uma Maheshwari, Associate Professor, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, to propose the vote of thanks. Thank you, Uma. Remember, being happy doesn't mean you have it all. It simply means you are thankful for all you have. I offer my deepest sense of gratitude to the Almighty who guided us and make this international webinar a successful one. I would like to express my sincere thanks to our management Punjab Association and Dr. Jay Sri Ghosh, Director, Management Studies, Anadish College for Women for their support in conducting this international webinar. I owe my sincere thanks to Dr. R. Shanti, Principal, Anadish College for Women for our support, which enabled our department to conduct this international webinar successfully. My special thanks to Dr. Anita Raman, Vice Principal and Head, Postgraduate and Research Department of Commerce, Anadish College for Women for our cooperation in conducting this international webinar. I am thankful to the IQAC committee members who have rendered their support to, the, to make this event a success. I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to Dr. B. Ravi, Company Secretary and Managing Partner B. Ravi and Associates for his continuous support and guidance. Thank you very much, sir. Solal Vallan, Sorvilan, Anjan Avanai, Igal Vellal, Yarkum Aridu, Thiruvalluvar. Tham Enniyavatrai, Pirar Erkumar, Solla Vallavanagavum, Solla Vendiyavatrai, Maravadavanagavum, Avaik Anjadavanagavum, Ullavanai, Pagaivanaga Kondu Velludal, Yavarkum Aridu. It gives me immense pleasure to express my sincere thanks to Mr. Chola Nachya Rajashekar, President, the Tamil Chamber of Commerce, for his cooperation in conducting this international webinar. Your speech has created an awareness about positive approach and will help us to accept the changes in the work relationship and move forward successfully. Thank you, sir. I am extremely thankful to Mr. Sirisha Davaluru, Senior Validation Engineer, AstraZeneca, Indiana, USA, for our timely support in conducting this international webinar. Thank you very much. I wish to place on record my sincere thanks to Dr. Ranjini Manian, Founder and Chairperson, Global Adjustments Foundation, for her kind cooperation in making this event a success. Thank you, ma'am. I want to express my deep gratitude to Dr. Leji Eliyama George, Head, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Shift 1, Dr. P. Radhika, Associate Professor and Mentor, Dr. G. Revati, Head, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Shift 2, for their continuous support and enthusiastic guidance in conducting this event successfully. I am grateful to our staff coordinators, Dr. G. M. Devanayagi, Dr. Varlakshmi, for their tireless effort, and Dr. Sumati, Dr. Medi Geetham, for their continuous guidance in completing this event successfully. I am extremely thankful to all the staff members, Department of Corporate Secretaryship, Shift 1 and Shift 2 for their cooperation and collective effort in conducting this international webinar in an efficient manner. I would like to thank Mrs. Parameshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science for her timely support in conducting this international webinar. 
my sincere thanks to mr r saravanan edp hardware engineer anadesh college for women for his kind cooperation in conducting this event successfully i would like to thank all the students who have contributed their time and effort and make this international webinar a grand success thank you all very much thank you all thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you zirisha thank you all speakers thank you so much thank you all thank you, thank you everyone thank you ma'am thank you ma'am zirisha you were great i'm very